Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create simple titles. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. We're going to add our first couple titles and we're going to keep these really simple and we're going to go over how to make a title. First of all, the client wanted some titles when they say their slogan. So let's go find that. It's near the end. Let, let me just zoink this down. There you go. You can see it on the waveform. And if I play it, easy to reach, hard to leave. So I want two titles, one that says easy to reach and it's going to start right about there. So I'm going to move my current time indicator and I'm looking at the waveform there. That's why one of the reasons it's great to be able to see the waveforms. So I'm going to have my first title start right there. So I'm going to come over here and in the new Premiere Pro 2018, it actually came out, I think in 17, this new tool came on before you, you went to a menu and now it's right here. And I'm going to click on the type tool and I'm just going to come up here and anywhere inside this title safe box, I'm going to kind of go in here to the left side and I'm going to type in, click once, don't click and drag, just do a single click and I'm going to type in easy to reach dot, dot, dot. All right. Once you've got your title in there, you can then go back to your selection tool and move it around and resize it. So the, the selection tool allows you to turns it into basically a, a piece of artwork. If you want to edit it again, simply double click on it and it goes right back into edit mode and I can just type in something else. Now, if you want to change the font or the color or any of that fancy stuff, then you want to go into the graphics workspace or open up the effects control. So with your title selected, you can open up effects control and you'll get all these different options here. Let's say I want to change the font. Um, make sure that it is selected. There we go. Triple clicked on it and come over here and change the font. Something Verdana bold or something like that. Yikes. So a, we just learned that you had to have it selected. And I believe if you click on the selection tool, and you've just been moving and resizing it around. That is also selected. So let's test that theory out. Let's go to stencil. Yes. So either triple clicking on it to select it that way or select it with just the selection tool and you can change any of these different things, the fonts, the fill color. So we're practicing now, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to go back to white. All right, so that's that one title that I've been working with in the effect control. Now it's think of it as a, a video clip and at any point you can put your cursor at the end and trim it. So let's trim it so that it lasts the same amount of time as I say, or the voiceover says easy to reach, easy to reach. And then we're going to have a different title here where they say, hard to leave. So I'm going to move my current time indicator to that spot. Since I want these titles to look like they're part of the same project, I think it, the easiest way to do that would be to just simply copy and paste it. So let's go ahead and select the first title and either right click and choose copy or control C, or you can go up to the edit menu and choose copy. Next, we need to paste it. And I, I'm going to do this the wrong way first, just to show you. If you look over here on the track heads, see how V1 is highlighted in blue and V2 is not. So if I paste control V, notice how it put it down here in track one. So I'm going to undo that control Z. The reason is we're targeting that track, track one. So if I click here, see how it's no longer blue. And if I click up here now, video two or track two is targeted. So now when I paste, see how it goes into track two. So that's track targeting. And you simply click on the letters of the track. So that's pretty simple and easy to do. And now we've got two titles that say the exact same thing, easy to reach and easy to reach. And we want to change this title. How do we do that? It's pretty easy. All you have to do is double click on it. It highlights it and then type in your words. All right, once you've got your title in there, let's talk about formatting in a different way. So if we go to the graphics workspace, 
there's two things. There's two basic panels. There's one called browse and there's one called edit. So in browse, you can find all these cool pre-created titles. For now, I just want to show you that if you click on the edit tab, you get all those same controls that we had over here in the effect controls. We just have them right here. So I could change the color just like I had earlier. I can change the font. I can resize it. I can change the position. So all those different things can be done here in the essential graphics panel. And then the last thing that would maybe look cool is if the the shot changed when the title changed. So let's go ahead and zoom in here a little. Why don't we change the cut point, this cut point right here so it's in between the two titles. Now, for five points of extra credit and a awesome, what is the right tool to shift this cut over but not change the overall length? That's right, it's the rolling edit tool. So I'm gonna come up here, grab the rolling edit tool, and just slide that cut over. So now we have easy to reach, and the, the title and the shot cut at the same time. Cool. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.